Hello children. Hope you all are well. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, we are under lockdown. We have to accept this lockdown for our own welfare. All the schools are closed. We, the teachers, do not want your studies to be hampered. So, these online classes are being conducted. Today, we are going to learn eating habits of animals in the science class. Why do animals need food? Have you seen a cow grazing in a field or a cat chasing a mouse? They do so because they need food. You may have seen kittens sucking their mother's milk. Slowly a kitten grows into a big cat. So we can say that the animals need food to grow. Some animals help us to do our work. They need energy to do the work. They get this energy from the food they eat. So we can say the animals need food to work. A pet dog usually healthier than a stray dog. This is because a stray dog often does not get enough food to eat. So we can say animals need food to stay healthy. So all animals need food to grow, to work and to stay healthy. Now all the animals can be grouped into three categories as per their food habits. They are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. The animals which eat only plants are called plant eating animals or herbivores such as cows, giraffes etc. Cows, they are the herbivorous animal. The animals which eat flesh of other animals are called flesh eating animals or carnivores such as lions, cats etc. Lion eating flesh and this is a carnivorous animal. The animals which eat both plants and animals are called omnivores such as crows and bears. Bear is catching a fish, bear eating grass. So bear is an omnivorous animal. Now we will learn food for domestic animals. Now what are domestic animals? The animals which are tamed and kept at home or in the farms to do the work for the humans, they are called domestic animals. Animals like oxen, horses, camels, elephants and donkeys carry loads or walk in the fields. They need energy giving food. So, they should be fed on oat and fodder. Animals like cows, buffaloes and goats give us milk. They need milk producing food. So, they should be fed on grass and oilseed cakes. Now we will discuss how animals feed. We can group the animals into the following ways how they feed. First one is animals that swallow their food whole. Some flesh eating animals like snakes and frogs 
swallow their food whole. They do not bite or chew their food as they do not have teeth. Now, you know that a frog eats insects. How does a frog eat insects? Look at the picture. A frog has a sticky tongue and it shoots out the tongue to catch the insects. The insect that gets stuck on the tongue is eaten by the frog. Now the next group is animals that tear and chew flesh. Some flesh eating animals like lions, tigers, foxes and dogs chew flesh and bones. So they have very sharp pointed and carved front teeth to tear flesh and also have strong grinding teeth at the back of their mouths. Next category Animals that gnaw. Gnaw means to bite something repeatedly. Animals like rabbits, rats and squirrels gnaw and have very sharp front teeth. Next category is animals that eat grass and chew cod. Some grass eating animals like cows, buffaloes and sheep first swallow grass without chewing it. After some time, they bring it back into their mouths and chew it with their grinding teeth. This is called chewing cut. Next category, animals that lap milk or water. Animals like cats and dogs lap milk or water with their tongue. In this picture you see the cat is, is lapping up milk. Now we will discuss about feeding habits of some other animals. The trunk of an elephant helps it to eat and drink. It uses its trunk to uproot grass and tear off branches from trees. The elephant also uses its trunk to suck up water. An earthworm swallows soil which has parts of dead plants and animals. A butterfly has a long sucking tube. It uses this to suck nectar from flowers. In this picture you can see this. The butterfly is sucking the nectar from a flower. Mosquitoes and leeches suck blood from the bodies of other animals. Now domestic animals need care. All animals need protection and care. Domestic animals serve us well if we take good care of them. Food and water must be given to them in clean vessels. Their shelters must be cleaned regularly. Sick animals must be treated in time. We must always be kind to animals. At the end of this video, I am going to provide you the homework. Thank you children. Hope you have enjoyed the class. Stay home, stay safe.